Praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen. Uh, Senior Bishop Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me today. The Lord Jehovah has spoken about the war that is coming to South Korea. This is a very urgent prophecy. There is war coming to South Korea. And this night, the Lord Jehovah, he took me to South Korea and he showed me the war that is coming to South Korea is going to be an urgent war. And uh, he put me in the house there. As you know, the way the Lord speaks to his servant, he takes him, he leaves that day, he takes him forward. So he leaves that day and he takes him to the venue and he gets involved. So he has taken me to South Korea and I see the North Korean army attack the South, South Korean army. And there was a big panic. So the Lord put me in a house and they came. They knocked off the CCTV cameras, and so they appeared, and they were attacking the house where I was. You could see the soldiers have attacked from all entrances. So again, there is a war that is coming to South Korea, to the Korean Peninsula, and the Lord this night, he spoke with me about that war. There is going to be a serious escalation of war. I see North Korea invade. North Korea is going to attack the South Korea. I don't know the escalation of it, how far it will go, whether it will involve nuclear war. But I see that the soldiers from North Korea have attacked South Korea. The Lord took me already to South Korea. I have seen the great distress that will take place there during that time. Again, this is a prophecy I am giving now. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about a distress that is coming to the whole earth. but to the Korean Peninsula, and uh, there is going to be a severe escalation of the conflict between North and South. And I see the North Korean army attack, attack. So they are going to attack South Korea. Well, uh, this is going to be a big distress globally, a global distress that will take place. Uh, and these things, as I've said, you'll soon see in your news. You soon see them take place in the global news network, even as the words of my tongue have spoken, the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Now, the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1, this is what he says. He says, and at that time of the end, Michael shall arise, the great angelic prince who defends and has charge over your people. And he goes on to say, and there shall be a time of trouble, a time of distress and straightness, such as never was since there was a nation until that time. But at that time, your people shall be delivered Everyone whose name shall be found written in the book of life, the book of God's plan for his own people. Now, the Bible promises that in these days, as we prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah, that there would be a time of distress set in. And as you can see, there has been a brewing there has been a recruitment of this war, the Korean War, one of the global wars. And there has been a serious conflict brewing between South and North Korea. And we have the United States on one side and North Korea doing its thing with the missiles and everything. But the Lord has now spoken with me this night very, very urgently that the North Korean army is going to attack the South Korean army. I don't know the extent of the attack. But the Lord took me there, and it was a very serious moment of distress. Now, I have seen the coming of the Messiah, and the Bible speaks very, very clearly about he that speaks with you. The Bible speaks very clearly that the Lord would send him to warn the earth and to prepare the nations and prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And so these are the signs that Jesus talked about in the book of Matthew 24. There would be a great distress. He talked about the massive great distress as has not happened before since 
from the, until then, which is now. And the book of Daniel also. Daniel, the end-time prophet, also saw this time coming. Prepare the way, blessed people. Let all the nations use these landmarks. Let all the nations use these signs of the time to turn away from sin, turn away from sexual immorality, turn away from lies, turn away from a life of postmodernism, turn away from a life of lies and deception, turn away from this perversion and heedlessness, this heathenism that you see consume the entire earth and become kind of a trend. Homosexuality, lesbianism, and the worshiping of all other religions, all other gods. Let everybody now turn to worshiping Jehovah, the holy God of Israel, and pursue a holy life. Turn away from alcoholism, turn away from drugs, all the smoking, all these things, the nude dressing of women all across the world. The Lord is announcing to the four ends of the earth that the Messiah is coming. And now all people need to prepare for that glorious day of the coming of the King, the Messiah. Everybody has seen the sign. In Kenya now, you can see the nation is dealing with the resurrection of the dead corpse. These are tremendous signs that cannot go unattended. Nobody can ever claim that they have not seen the sign of the time, the sign of the coming of the Messiah. Again, the Bible says that these distresses would be the signal, the sign that surely, yes, the Messiah indeed is coming. He that speaks with you today, this is he about whom the Bible wrote. The scriptures wrote that, look, I will send my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way before your glorious day. Shalom. Thank you.